Thanksgiving is over. So you know what that means. It's time for Mariah Carey to come out of her coffin. And we are going to talk about holiday movies now. Let's talk about last year's Violent Night with David Harbour. Ooh, all that Mariah Carey talk just kind of freaked me out a little bit. Huh? Let's talk about the holiday movie, Violent Night. Now, when this movie came out last year, I was like, I didn't want to go see it because it, by the time I had a chance, it was after Christmas and I just didn't want to. But I watched it the other day and oh my God, this movie was so much fun. <laughs> it was a cross between, I would say really three movies, Home Alone, Die Hard, and the Christmas Chronicles, if you've seen those movies on Netflix. <laughs> I did not think I was going to like this movie near as much as I did. This movie was a lot of fun. And it was with David Harper, who you know through uh, Stranger Things and uh, multiple other things. But David Harper did a great job as Santa. And let's just say they went with a totally different way of combining Santa with lore where he was basically like a viking warrior that had gotten chosen to be santa now if they wanted to they could totally make this into a whole new series after watching this i would love to see more of this i would love to see how he became actually santa and how there's a mrs claus and oh my gosh this was just so much fun uh okay let me calm down calm down and tell you about the movie okay so it it starts off with him in London and he is taking a little break having a beer at a pub and so he goes up to start back on his ride and he throws up on a lady who comes up there to wish him okay <laughs> that that's the beginning of a movie that you're like well this could be a lot more fun than I thought and then it comes to the American side where he gets to this very rich house and he goes in to help and lo and behold it's a hostage situation with John Leguizamo as the bad guy. And if you know John Leguizamo he's a really funny comedian but he's also a really good actor. He's been in tons of stuff. He was the original Luigi in the Super Mario's movie. He was in the John Wick movies. He's been in a lot of stuff. But if you've seen his stand-up, you know he's hilarious. Not hilarious in this movie. In fact, very he tries to be very intimidating. And he does a pretty decent job at it. All the code names for all of his workers slash assassins, they're all Christmas-based. And it, it is very refreshing to see something like this for a Christmas movie and it's I know it's a silly. We just had that Thanksgiving movie I was talking about, but this this was a lot more fun than the Thanksgiving movie. And I really thought that Thanksgiving movie was a lot of fun. Now, there's a lot of interesting ways to kill assassins for Santa. And when I say it's like Die Hard, you have this little girl who's on the walkie-talkie with him trying to help him out. And you have her who is, who's really trying to imitate Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone and set booby traps. And... She doesn't intend to have a lot of things happen that happen, and it's pretty awesome. To get back to it, Santa has to stop these bad guys from taking a hundred millions of dollars and killing these these rich people. And, you know, someone who's actually in this movie that is associated with another very famous Christmas movie is Beverly D'Angelo. And you know her from the vacation movies where she's with Clark W. Griswold from... Christmas Vacation. I might do that one later on the Chris, uh, down the road to talk about because Christmas classic. Now this movie uh, has them not really believing in Santa because honestly no one believes in Santa and he doesn't really believe in the kids anymore until the end of this movie. I'm not saying he makes it out but it's Santa and it's a lot of actually warm feelings at the end of this movie and you're just like how did this movie have so much heart to it this movie should not have heart this movie should not be as sweet as it is because it's very bloody it's very gory and wow just wow now 
I'm going to go ahead and end because it's, I'm going to keep it short. But I want you to, if you haven't seen Violent Night and you're of age to watch it, watch it. It's great. It is a lot of fun. And you would be surprised at how much you'll like this movie. Uh, now, coming up uh, for our next review, I'm going to be doing a new movie called The Shift. I believe it's a, a retelling of the Job story. Very different from this movie. So... We will see you at the next one. Be sure to like, subscribe, tell me what you thought, and we'll see you then.